Hi friends, welcome to BiologyExamsForYou.com. I am once again with a very important video for CSAR UGC Net Life Science Aspirants that is about the 2019 exam pattern. I must know information before your preparation and we will be discussing question, one question from each part so that you will be getting an idea about what type of question will be asked for your exam. A very short video on this matter. First of all, regarding the pattern of the exam, exam comprises of three parts A, B and C. In A part, we need to answer 15 questions out of 20 and marks allotted is 2, therefore 30 marks. In B part, we need to answer 35 questions out of 50 questions and marks allotted is 2, therefore 70 marks in B part. Whereas in C part, we have descriptive questions and out of 75 questions we need to answer 25 and 4 marks for each questions and total is 100 mark and total marks is 200 marks and we have already discussed the cutoff mark of CSAR Net Life Sciences in 2018 you can refer the video just 50 to 60 percent marks is required for qualifying this exam and the most important point that I want to stress is 25% negative marks for each wrong answer. This is an important point that you, that you should bear in mind while answering the questions. Now moving into each part, taking one question from each part. Part A is general aptitude questions, not questions from our life sciences often general questions, aptitude questions like this. In a group of 11 persons, each shakes hand with every other per other ones and only ones. What is the total number of such handshakes? So to answer this question without an equation, it's very difficult as we are not in tune with max. So we may not be finding it easy to answer these questions even though the question is very simple. Let us work out this question with a simple equation. So these are the options 110, 120, 155 and fourth option is 66. So this is the equation total number of handshakes is equal to capital T is equal to N into N minus 1 by 2 where N is the number of persons in the group. So while substituting these here the number of handshakes is 11 therefore n is equal to 11 into 11 minus 1 by 2 that is 11 into 10 by 2 that is 110 by 2 55 handshakes and that is the answer so my request is you should work out as many questions as possible from this part don't take this part lightly it's very simple as we are not in tune with max for a long time the only difficulty is we are not familiar with these questions. Work out maximum number of previous questions and finding out easy way to solve these questions. That's very important. So this area is very crucial for qualifying the exam. As it's very simple, you need to work on that portion. That's it. Now moving into part B, that is subject questions. First question, ability of membrane protein to span the lipid bilayer strictly depends on the presence of. This is a question from plasma membrane lipid bilayer. You might be remembering that Singer-Nicholson model. So the options are sing finger domain, second option is alpha helices, third option parallel beta sheets and fourth option is anti-parallel beta sheets. If you are familiar with this topic, these two options might be the answer alpha helices and parallel beta sheets these are the most common transmembrane proteins that is seen in plasma membrane and the most common and the predominant one is alpha helices therefore the answer is alpha helices so this is a question from the subject that is from biochemistry now let's take one more question so we'll be getting questions from different subjects within biology that is microbiology biochemistry botany zoology etc so this is from ecology ruderal species are those which are found in the environments with 
so in ecology you should know many terms it's very simple like rotoral species keystone species umbrella species flagship species etc so without knowing this never attempt this question you will get negative marks the answer is rural species are species that are often seen in high disturbance areas therefore the competition will be very low not all species are capable of thriving in such extreme environments this disturbance may be man made or may be natural so rural species are species that living lives in that thrives in high disturbance area where there is low competition so this is a question from ecology so you can expect questions from different disciplines of life sciences in this part here also never attempt a question that doesn't even have 50 50 chance in this question you know that if you are familiar with plasma membrane you know these alpha helices and parallel beta sheets so there is a 50 50 chance either of these and my request is never attempt this questions if you don't know the exact answer part c this is subject core in depth questions you need to write only 25 questions out of 75 pretty difficult but you can answer 25 definitely the table given below represents the types of intercellular transport in column 1 in land plants and their transport pathways in column 2 so we need to match column 1 and 2 this is column 1 and this is column 2 first a is upper plastic pathway option in second part via interconnecting plasmodes meta b sim plastic pathway via the water filled spaces of the cell wall matrices and lumen of xylem tracheary elements c is transcellular transport that is via the vacuole across the tonoplast followed by exit across the plasma membrane before regaining entry to the adjacent cell through the plasma membrane which one of the following combinations matches one correctly with column 2 so in part c you will be getting a question actually about an entire topic you should have in depth knowledge in that topic to answer this questions so whatever you learn learn deep that is the key in qualifying this examination it is not at all about completing the syllabus whatever you learn learn deep that's my request so let us answer this question in a very easy way if you know something about this upper plastic pathway that is the meaning itself is non living up on non living pathway so here upper plastic this will match with via the water filled spaces of the cell wall matrices and lumen of xylem tracheary elements so this will match sim plastic means living pathway sim living pathway that is in plants cell to cell connection is by plasmodes meta so it is by via interconnecting plasmodes meta now let us look into the options this is not the option a1 is not the option in second option there is a2 this will match now check for any a2 in other options 3 there is no a2 in 4 also there is no a2 so this is an easy question to answer if you think like this if you know this much then you can answer this question then let us see what is in option number 2 upper plastic pathway that is via the water fill spaces of the cell wall okay fine then b sim plastic pathway fine it is via interconnecting plasmodes meta or through the living portions of the plant cell so fine so this two are matching definitely three will be matching even if you don't know this this is a sure shot and the answer is option 2 and this is the way by which we need to answer these descriptive questions we may not be knowing the entire part but if we know some part exactly and precisely by picking out the right options we can definitely match it in the best possible way that is we'll be getting the right answer 
So these are the patterns of questions that you can expect in CSAR UGC Net Life Sciences Part A General Aptitude Questions. From now onwards, you should work for it. UPSC, UPSC questions. There are simple formula, very easy to answer. Then in Part B, you can have questions from Life Sciences, general questions. There we may get some questions. In Part C, you just need to write 25 questions out of 75 some questions you will be knowing so whatever you learn learn deep and and read and reread the questions one or two times and see it from a different angle and pick out the right options and uh, bear in mind there is negative mark so 50 to 60 percent marks is just required to qualify this exam so don't answer more questions and don't break your dreams make your dreams by limiting the number of questions and the cutoff will be generally it will be around 50 to 60 percent hope this will help thank you so much for your attention best wishes for your exam you are with biology exams for you.com please share subscribe and like this video